Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be doing a headphone review. This is a review of uh, Skull Candy JID True XT2 headphones. And these are the Bluetooth headphones. And these have a right and a left earbud. And you can see on the earbuds, um, they have the magnet magnets in them. And what that does is you put it in here in the case, inside the case, and it charges the headphones. And then when the case is open, it uses um battery or when it's charging, you actually charge the case with a USB right here. And then mm -hmm. so I so I thought you plug them in. The, the case in, and then the batteries, and then the headphones will charge, because the USB charge. No, but no, uh uh. They should just charge the case separate, and the headphones can get charged with the case charge. And these last 33 hours on one single charge. These headphones do up like 30 hours or 33 hours, something like that. It's like 30, but still, like 30 hours on a charge is pretty good. I use these a lot, and they last like, I would say about like, 20 hours, but then again, they're probably staying on, but they're not using like a ton of battery as, like a ton of battery, so I can get probably like 20 hours out of them, consistently, so they're still kind of on, not on fully, they're like, probably like, 30 hours total, so so 20 hours of like listening to them on the single charger, and you charge them like every other day at night for a little bit or something like that. It's not bad at all, actually. So, I mean, you feel pretty comfortable in your ear. Um, the only problem though is sometimes like the um, ear wax does get into his ears, ear holes. And then they do get kind of gross and nasty. Honestly. Mm, however. They do kind of get gross and nasty, but I'm going to just clean them out a little bit. And they'll be fine. Um. You have like the e wax on the SCS, but you know, like that, and then I clean them up. And then it does come with four extra ear holes, like this, in case you get worn or something like that. So that's awesome. And these are only like $30 at like Walmart, which is awesome, which is pretty reasonable for Bluetooth headphones or, or earphones, earbuds, like Bluetooth earbuds. I had the, bought the cheap pairs of like earbuds. I was buying like five, ten dollar. I used to buy like ten dollar, twenty dollar. I used to buy like cheap ten, twenty dollar pairs of earphones and headphones. I got my local family dollar or like Walmart to buy like the cheap, cheap headphones. And then the cord would, the corded wired ones, and they'd go kind of bad on them. And then I had a pair of Bluetooth headphones. And the battery did, it was like kind of a cheaper pair, I think. And that battery kind of died quickly on them a lot, and they're like cheap skull candies. And the battery kind of died on them a lot, which is kind of in. But these actually have a nice long charge on them, which I like. And I like that you don't have to have to deal with wires. You know, like if you have the wire, like the wire, like. Like, um. Like you, can, if you don't have to deal with, like, at least phones nowadays, and like. Don't have wire, and like, we're getting rid of like, charge, like the headphone jack, and like, all that stuff. Because a lot of these places are going away from headphones. I mean, you can still buy wired headphones, but they really don't make, a lot of these companies don't make wired headphones. Unless you buy like, the cheap ones. Honestly, so. And you could still buy a used pair, like eBay or something like that, but it's, it's kind of not worth it. I just kind of strayed away from that. I'm just like, 
do with this one, and I can have these headphones last a couple years. With it. You know, honestly, probably no wires. Have to use no wires on these headphones. And it's like the only you know, problem is that these fall a little bit, maybe just a little bit. But I mean, honestly, they're still pretty handy. They're still pretty good headphones. But yeah, so I have to give the J the Skull Candy JIB True XT2 headphones. Probably a nine out of ten. They have good sound. Like before my old headphones, like I had them turned down kind of low, and as soon as like the wires started getting bad, I had turned the sound up and up. And pretty soon, like I had to turn the sound up, keep turning the sound up with these. These, you know, depends on what I listen to, but usually. Like on something that's kind of quieter, maybe like 60, and then like a little lower end, maybe 40 to 30 to 50, 30 to 40, somewhere around there. But usually I have it about 40 to 50 of 100 on my computer, on my um, computer scale, and it actually sounds perfect right there. It's not like too loud, and it's not like too quiet, it's just perfect, you know. You know, sometimes it depends on what I listen to, you know, but usually on like a typical one. A good sound, good everything. It's like 45, 40 or 50. So, so yeah, so until next time, take care.